Welcome back to Outlaw Championship Wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Grant Pachoco, and we have probably the biggest card uh, ever uh, booked for today's Outlaw Championship Wrestling. We're certainly happy that you are here joining us uh, as uh, as we, we go through all the fun. Uh, before we get going, we do want to send a special shout out to all the Golden Circle channel members, uh, the fine people whose names you see on the screen support this channel. They believe in quality solo fighting game and wrestling game content, and I am certainly glad that they do, because they help this show happen. Uh, so big thank you to all of them. If you would like to join the Golden Circle, click the little join button that's down underneath uh, the window of this video that you're watching right now. Also, want to let you know that we are using the FG Assistant app to roll out these matches. The FG Assistant app is an unauthorized, but very cool, uh, desktop computer application that allows you to play Phil Singer games, uh, um, uh, games on your desktop uh, makes sense. Uh, if you'd like to know more, you can head on over to patreon.com forward slash FG assistant. I will also say that I am using a pre-release version of uh, FG assistant. So as we click around here today, you may see things uh, that are not available in the uh, generally released version that is now up on Patreon. Well, we have a huge card here today. We are in Cobo Hall in Detroit, Michigan, standing room only, ladies and gentlemen. So very, very exciting. This is July 4th weekend, 1980. It's actually July 5th um, that these uh, events are happening. And the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, Dory Funk Jr., uh, former Outlaw Championship Wrestling uh, wrestler, um, uh, will be here tonight defending the NWA World's title in the main event against David Schultz. We also have a North American Championship title match in a steel cage, Ronnie Garvin versus Terry Funk. That one uh, probably will be bloody. Uh, we will see. We'll both Funk Brothers walk out of the building tonight with a title. We shall see. Uh, we also have a rematch. The newly crowned Outlaw Tag Team Champions, Junkyard Dog and Mr. Olympia, taking on the former champs, the Minnesota Wrecking Crew. The championship committee thinking that uh, the Minnesota Wrecking Crew uh, had such an amazing, impressive uh, run to the titles that they deserve a rematch. We have a grudge match. Coco Samoa versus the great Kabuki with Gary Hart. If Coco Samoa wins, he will get five minutes alone in the ring with Gary Hart. Uh, so we shall see what happens there. Uh, we've got the Chain Gang, the uh, hottest new tag team in Outlaw Championship Wrestling, taking on the Wild Samoans and what could wind up being a big brawl. We got Blackjack Lonza versus Jerry Lawler, and we have our opening match, which we will head to the ring for right now, and that is newcomer Pork Chop Cash taking on uh, Jimmy Garvin. Now we got to put some match counters here. Uh, because, of course, we have um, Precious in the corner. Uh, so we got some distraction attempts to add on there. And we have some manager interference to add on there. And uh, I think we are good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your opening match. Fourth of July weekend. They both roll a three. Uh, six and a three. Pork Chop Cash going to start things off. The fans behind him. Top wrist lock one. No, Jimmy Garvin able to reverse it. Uh, he struts and fluffs his hair. And then I guess he punches Pork Chop Cash. And uh, that dazes the newcomer. A snap mare. And Pork Chop Cash stands on his feet. Reverses it. Hits an arm drag and a twist that hurts jimmy garvin uh gonna whip him into the turnbuckle and it's a reversal pork chop cash into the turnbuckle crushed by a big kick running forearm two hurts two showboat suplex hurts two into the turnbuckle again crushed by a big kick uh there's another showboat suplex and pork chop cash is down swinging neck breaker choice h let's see his death jump is a b agility plus one gonna go for that needs a nine or less four gets it and pork chop cash gonna roll out of the ring try and get a breather uh but uh, a big brawl happens outside the ring both wrestlers roll disqualification and uh let's see 
Uh, Jimmy Garvin going to roll his disqualification, and he is not disqualified. Pork Chop Cash not disqualified. Uh, so let's see. We're going to roll one die here. The roll is even. Pork Chop Cash wins the brawl, throws Jimmy Garvin back in, hits him with a body slam. That is a hurt, too. Drop kick, choice E. Let's see. His agility is a negative one. Going to go for it. Needs an eight or less. Three. It does work. Hurt two. Wild uppercut two. Jimmy Garvin ducks it. Waistlock takedown. Dazed one. Waistlock takedown again. Dazed one. Strut and fluff hair and kick this time. Uh, and that is a hurt two. That catches him. Head scissors two. Hurt two. Into the turnbuckle. Whips him into the turnbuckle. And it's a reversal. Jimmy Garvin goes in. Can only do one reversal. Uh, you count the ropes the um, with a big specialty move, but the opponent does a special move. Both go down. Uh, the wrestler with the better turnbuckle rating, that's going to be Jimmy Garvin. He recovers first, rolls on level three offense. There is a throat drop on the ropes. Hurt two, running forearm two, hurt two, running forearm two. Pork chop cash ducks it. Arm drag and a twist, hurt two. Wild uppercut, Jimmy Garvin ducks that and uh, goes for the atomic knee drop, but pork chop cash with the power. Choice E, again, gonna go for the agility. This will work on an eight or less. Roll is a five, it certainly does. Jimmy Garvin is down. Body slam two. Jimmy Garvin pops back up and uh, pulls the hair of Pork Chop Cash. Um, and Pork Chop Cash just stands there, grabs him, and grabs his hair and uh, hits him with a hip toss. Jimmy Garvin lands on his feet. Snap mare. Pork Chop Cash uh, gets him in a headlock. Dazed one. Look at these back and forth. Tries an elbow smash, but Jimmy Garvin reverses it with a running forearm. Hurt two into the turnbuckle, whips him in. Another reversal, crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two into the ropes, uh, whips Garvin off. This is power rating. That's going to be Pork Chop Cash. He rolls on level two into the ropes again. Oh, wait, he's got a star. What is this star? If Garvin leaves the ring or is thrown out of the ring with it. Oh, there shouldn't be. A, oh, that's his ring rating. Uh, I rolled the wrong thing. Uh, so ignore that. It's ropes. Uh, whips him into the ropes. Drops down. Roll again on here. You caught the ropes with a powerful flying shoulder tackle. Roll on level two offense. Showboat suplex. Down three. Swinging neck breaker. Uh, Going to go for the agility move. This will work on a nine or less. Ten. It does not. These two back and forth. Crushed by a big kick. Pork chop cash with an axe handle to the stomach. Hurt two. Into the ropes. Whips him into the ropes. Uh, and the opponent puts you down with a running back elbow. Uh, drop kick. Choice E. And uh, let's see. Going to go for the agility. We'll need an eight or less. Six. It works. Uh, hurt two. Neither man could get fatigue on either of the other. A wild uppercut, two. Jimmy Garvin reverses it. Hair pull, two. Hurt, two. Showboat suplex, three. Down three. Again, Pork Chop Cash going to roll out. Both wrestlers roll disqualification. No DQ there. No DQ there. It's an odd roll. Jimmy Garvin wins uh, this time, and he tosses Pork Chop Cash right back out of the ring. Pork Chop Cash crawls in, and he gets hit with the Brain Buster. Target is five. Roll is a five. The fans booing loudly as Jimmy Garvin gets the win with the Brain Buster. Here in Kobo Hall. Um... And uh, let's see. Um, ah, I'll give it one and a half stars. I'll give it one and a half stars. All right, moving on to our next match. We have Blackjack Lonza versus Jerry Lawler. Jerry Lawler coming off a big feud with Kamala. Uh, and uh, uh, Blackjack Lonza saying, we don't want any kings around here. And uh, so a match is born. Let's roll and let's get going. Blackjack Lonza going to start things off. Headlock and punch two. Hurt two. Sneaky chokehold on the king. Uh, going to go for the agility move. Seven or less. No. 
Lawler reverses it with a vertical suplex. Hurt too. Into the ropes. Whips him into the ropes, but uh, Lonza grabs him and hits him with a pile driver. And uh, he's going to roll on level three offense. There's a vertical suplex. Hurt too. Body punches to the king. The Lawler sucks it up, reverses it back. Suplex. Uh, a power move. Is that uh, the correct power? Yes, it is. Um, so that will work. Down three. Leg drop, choice G. Let's see, his death jump is a B. His power is a zero. Gonna go for the power. Needs an eight or less. Four, gets it. Look at that, that catches him. Target three. Roll is an eight, so one fatigue there. Uh, choice C. Uh, gonna go for the agility. This will work on a nine or less. Ten, it does it. Blackjack Lonza with that sneaky choke hold. And uh, going to go for the agility move. This will work on a seven or less. Ten, it doesn't. The king with some head scissors. Hurt too. Keeps him locked in. Lonza slips out the back. Bites Lawler on the forehead. Uh, and then a running knee to the gut. And that catches Lawler. Target two. Roll nine. And Lonza follows it up with a body slam. And going to go for the agility. Eight or less. No. Lala reverses it into the turnbuckle, goes Blackjack Lonza, and it's a reversal, crushed by a big kick. Lonza, uh, not going to throw him into the turnbuckle, going to roll up. Face smother, uh, that will work, hurts too. Uh, sneaky chokehold again, going to go for that agility, seven or less. It works that time, down three. Lonza with the Texas Brain Buster, target five, roll seven. The king able to kick out. He locks in the Cobra hold, and the king is in trouble. And uh, this is not smart. Lonza throws him out of the ring and goes out and whips him uh, with a big bull rope, uh, the bell of the bull rope right in the head. Lawler is down. Uh, he may be counted out here. Target is four. Uh, he's not counted out, but he is certainly bloodied. Uh, and he crawls back into the ring. And uh, Choice H body slam. Uh, going to go for the agility, eight or less. Eight gets it, and Lawler in trouble here. Uh, body punches, two. Lawler firing back, jumping stomp, two. Black Johnza, Blackjack Lonza moves out of the way. Wild forearms, dazed one. Uh, rope burn, uh, but Lawler has the agility. Hits a vertical suplex, and Blackjack Lonza is down. The King with a series of punches. The crowd behind him. And Blackjack Lonza still down. Some more punches. Hurt too. A jumping stomp from the King. Hurt too. A vertical suplex. Hurt too. Into the ropes. Whips him in. And the opponent puts you down with a running back elbow. Uh, whips him into the ropes again. And another running back elbow. Head scissors. Locked in. No. Lonza slips out and whips Lawler into the ropes. Uh, this is power. Um, they are equal. Uh, so Lonza rolls into the turnbuckle. Not going to throw him into the turnbuckle. Going to roll up. Ooh, can't use that. Got to roll up again. Face smother. That will work. Hurt two. Head, uh, headlock ram in a turnbuckle. Three. Hurt two. Into the ropes. Uh, throws him into the ropes. Uh, but Lawler hits him with a pile driver and rolls on level three offense. Choice C. Going to go for the agility. This will work on a nine or less. It does. Down three. Lonza rolls out of the ring, grabs Lawler out, whips him into the turnbuckle post, throws him back in, uh, hits a body slam, and he's climbing up for a death jump. A big clothesline from the top. Uh, body slam again. Again, he's going up for the death jump another big clothesline from the top follows it with a vertical suplex Lawler rolls out of the ring now um, and Lawler whips Lonza into the announce table and may be disqualified here target six roll is a two and that will end the match uh, but these two start brawling wildly after I realize I didn't roll on the feud chart uh, but Blackjack Lonza is going to win that DQ do um, to whip into the announce table. Uh, let's see. This is two and a half stars. Uh, both men brawl wildly after the match. 
Uh, I did not roll on the um, I did not roll on the feud table, but uh, there's definitely a feud started here. Uh, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, we've got some tag team action, and that is going to be the Chain Gang versus the Wild Samoans. Uh, and let me add some double team attempt. Uh, wait. Both corners independent. Double team attempts. They each get three. And I think we're good. So let's see. Let's have uh, Afa start with Frank Dillinger. All right, let's roll the dice. Let's ring the bell. They both roll a seven. They're both pummeling each other. And uh, Frank is going to win with a bite to the gnarled forehead, uh, but that doesn't affect Offa at all. He reverses it into a front face lock, but Frank reverses it with a re repeated head into the turnbuckle. Hurts two, hip throw, choice B. Uh, let's see. His agility is a plus two. Turnbuckle is a B. Going to whip him into the turnbuckle. Uh, the wrestler with the better turnbuckle rating there equal. So Frank rolls on level three. Choke with the top rope. That catches him. Uh, uh, Sika going to come in here. Uh, they're going to roll a pin save. Your tag partner tries to help, but is stopped. Roll your pin. So the target is four. The roll is a five. He's just barely able to kick out. And he keeps choking him with the top rope. He is down. Keeps choking him. Where is the referee? Offa going to roll out of the ring. A wild brawl wrestler, wrestler with the better ring rating there equal. So Frank going to roll on level three. Goes back to choking him. He is down. Uh, Frank going to tag in Jack. Jack rolls on level three. Death jump. He's climbing up. But no, Offa recovers. Tosses him off the top. Rolls on level three, tosses him right out of the ring. A wild brawler ups the wrestler with the better ring rating there, equal. Afa gonna tag Sika. Sika rolls on level three offense and he throws him right out of the ring again. Uh, the referee comes out, warns them to stop opponent, rolls disqualification. Um, let's see, is he gonna use his pin save? Uh, no. No, come on, this is, this is the Wild Samoans. Uh, so DQ6, he is disqualified. That The match ends in another Wild Brawl, and uh, Jack Dillinger uh, is a beats Sika DQ due to a Wild Brawl at ringside. Two Wild Brawls in a row. We'll give that one star. Uh, but that's the way the things go here in Outlaw Championship Wrestling. All right. Well, it's time for a grudge match here. And uh, this should be very, very interesting. If Coco Samoa is able to pull off a win against the great Kabuki, the man who injured him, uh, he will get five minutes alone in the ring um, with uh, Gary Hart. Uh, let me see. I think he has... Two interference attempts. Yeah. And then he has one distraction attempt. All right. Um, here we go. Coco Samoa out for blood. And he is going to start. There's a clothesline. And he has the power, so that will work. No, Great Kabuki reverses it. Shoulder nerve hold. Uh, shoulder nerve shoulder nerve pinch hold. Uh, second rope falling fist. Ooh. Um, gonna go for the agility. Needs a seven or less. Nine. Doesn't get it. Coco Samoa with a high back body drop. Another high back body drop. The fans loving this. Knife edge. Chop. Hurts two, double back chop, and that catches him. Uh, Gary Hart going crazy, but he's not going to interfere just yet. Target is three here. Roll is an eight. There's one fatigue. The fans loving it. Superfly leap 
Roll one die on a roll of one. Coco misses. So he misses the super fly leap. And Great Kabuki takes over on level two offense. There's some uppercut punches, but some Coco Samoa reverses it. Big Samoan drop. A Great Kabuki hits a spinning chop. Coco Samoa reverses it. Double back chop. Down three. Look at this. Springboard clothesline. Three. Hurts two. High back body drop. Two. Hurt two. Double back chop. Three. Hurts two. Uh, spinning thrust kick. Choice B. And uh, going to whip him into the turnbuckle. Crushed by a big kick. Another Samoan drop. Great Kabuki sock coming. Hits a spinning chop. A Coco Samoa reverses it. Hits an arm bar. That dazes him. Some knife edge chops. Great Kabuki ducks those. And hits a palm thrust. Uh, that will work. They have equal agility. Hurt two, some uppercut punches. Hurt two, some more uppercut punches. Hurts two, uh, shoulder nerve pinch hold. Three, down three, uh, running jump kick. Two, hurt two, uh, second rope falling fist. Choice E, um, gonna go for the agility. Needs a seven or less. Twelve, no. Coco Samoa reverses it. Uh, gonna whip him into the turnbuckle, and it's a reversal. Coco Samoa goes in, crushed by a big kick. There's the armpit claw, down three, running jump kick, two. Coco Samoa ducks out of the way. Choice B, gonna whip him into the turnbuckle once again, crushed by a big kick, double back chop, three. That's his pin. Uh, I think Gary Hart is going to use his distractor here. Uh, so Gary Hart rolls his distractor. It is a fail. So the pan is going to happen. The target is four. The roll is an eight. There is another fatigue. There is a springboard clothesline. Hurt two. High back body drop. Great Kabuki reverses it. Side kick to the midsection, but it is a power move. And Coco Samoa has the power. Whips him into the ropes. Uh, power rating, that's going to be Coco Samoa. Level two, choice B. Going to whip him into the turnbuckle again. Uh, and roll on level two. There's another Samoan drop. Hurt two. Double back chop. Three. Down three. Body suplex two. Hurt two. Double back chop. Three. That's his pin. All right. Here we go. Gary Hart uh, is going to, we're going to roll uh, on his chart here. Um, green mist. Hart distracts the referee. The green mist is unleashed. Opponent is disoriented. Kabuki takes over on level three offense. Uh, so we will get rid of one of those. Um, and we do, we'll add one pin attempt here. And uh, he is now busted open, but he will roll on level three offense. Death jump, climbing up, blasts him with a big flying clothesline, uh, tosses him out of the ring. Uh, but Coco Samoa grabs him, whips him into the post, throws him back in. There's the super fly leap. Can he hit it? He does hit it. All right, here's Gary Hart uh, going to use his final uh, roll here. Uh, Hart's distraction fails. Kabuki or spews the miss wildly, missing the opponent. So he is going to go for the pin here. And let's see, the target is a seven. And the roll is a seven. Ladies and gentlemen, the crowd goes crazy as Coco Samoa uh, wins with the Superfly Leap. Uh, that'll get one star because it's a grudge match. So that'll be a three-star match. After the match, Coco Samoa starts... Beating uh, Gary Hart, but uh, Killer Khan and Kamala rush to ringside and attack Samoa. Um, and save Gary Hart. All right. Woo. Things are wild and crazy here on 4th of July weekend. And it is time for the first of three title matches. And this is the Junkyard Dog 
and Mr. Olympia defending against former champs, the Minnesota Wrecking Crew. All right, and uh, this is who I would like to start with. Uh, let me add the double team attempts. Uh, double team attempts. Three, both corners independent. Bloop, 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 bloop. There we go. Let's, oops, let me get rid of this. Roll the dice. Let's ring the bell, and the champs are going to start. Body slam, choice D. Uh, let's see, his power is a negative two. Two. He's going to go for it. He needs a seven or less. Three gets it. Look at that. Hurt two. The dog in control. Whips him into the ropes. Uh, opponent puts you down. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Into the ropes again. Uh, but no. Uh, Ole Anderson hits him with a pile driver and starts choking the dog on the ropes, dazing him. Punch to the gut. One. Dazed one. Snap mare one. Junkyard dog reverses it. Multiple jabs. Two. Uh, going to try and tag out. Needs a six or less. He gets it. And here comes Arn Anderson with a hip toss, dazing uh, the junkyard dog. Another hip toss, but the dog uh, doesn't go with it. Hits a falling punch. Arn Anderson rolls out of the way. Hits a knee drop. Hurt two. Uh, hammerlock body slam. Three. Add one. And that catches him. Mr. Olympia. Ooh. Mr. Olympia going to run in and make the save. Uh, let's see if he can do it. Your tag partner saves you, breaks the referee's count. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Uh, enforcer bomb, choice H. Uh, let's see, his death jump is a B. His agility is a plus one. Going to go for that. Nine or less. Six. It works. Hurt two. Uh, ooh, the hammerlock body slam again. And Junkyard Dog is busted open. He needs to tag in a big way. Hurt, too. And uh, I, uh, I rake with bootlaces. Hurt, too. Arn Anderson going to tag in Ole. Sneaky double team tag. Uh, three. So Arn back in. And that is his pin. They're going to use their uh, pin save here. Uh, let's see. Uh, your tag partner saves you and breaks the referee's count. Junkyard Dog needs to tag in a desperate, desperate way. Not going to throw him out of the ring. Going to roll up. Hits a knee drop. Oh, no. Hits it. Are we going to have new champs? The target seven. The roll 11. Junkyard Dog. Where is he finding this? Kicks out. Forearm shot to the midsection. Can he make the tag? No, he cannot. Uh, knee drop three down three. Can he make the tag? No, he cannot. Uh, and there's the enforcer bomb. Going to go for the agility nine or less. It does happen. Hurt two knee drop three. That's his pin target eight roll five. We have new champions, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the Minnesota wrecking crew has retained uh, regained their titles and uh that ended with a knee drop there we go uh that'll get one star because it is a um let's see so that is uh one and a half stars so it's two i'm gonna give it three and a half stars and eh, no i'll give it two and a half stars because it was kind of a grudge match, but there you go. We have new Outlaw Wrestling, Outlaw Championship Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Uh, and now, here we go with our cage match. And I'm just uh, getting out the rules uh, for the North American Championship. Uh, what's under Steel Cage? Steel cage match. Here we go. Amazing, amazing action here as always. Outlaw Championship Wrestling. All right, we are using the cage uh, cage ratings. Let me make sure that those are accurate. Uh, yes, cage two, cage three. Um, so use the cage ratings. Ignore DQs or countouts. Substitute down three where necessary. Uh, no out of ring. Substitute face in the cage. Ignore, leave the ring. Uh, so nobody at ringside. Here we go. You got to believe, though, that Dory Funk is watching this closely. Uh, and Ronnie Garvin starts things off with a face mangler. 
hurting Terry Funk. Headbutt two. Terry Funk reverses it. Uh, choice E. Uh, going to go for the agility move. This will work on a 10 or less. It does. The champ in trouble. Nowhere for him to run. Uh, that's face into cage three. Hurts two. Headbutts three. Hurts two. Knee drop two. Hurts two. Knee drop two. Ronnie Garvin rolls out of the way. Bites Funk on the forehead. Oops, oops. I rolled on the wrong thing there. Uh, Hurts two. And into the turnbuckle. Whips Funk into the turnbuckle. And we'll roll on level two. Not going to throw him into the ropes. Going to roll up. Bites him in the forehead again. But Funk gets out of the way. Hits a big neck breaker. That's his pin. Target. Oops, oops, oops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, target is three. Roll is a nine. Uh, so there is one fatigue. Locks in the sleeper. Nowhere for Garvin to go. Some quick jabs. Down three. There's the pile driver. Target is four. Roll is a five. Garvin just able uh, to get up. The sleeper locked in again. Hurts two. Some wild headbutts. Hurts two. Some more headbutts. Hurts two. A body slam against the cage. Hurts two. Uh, chops to the chest. Uh, but Garvin fights back into the ropes no he is going to roll up a slap to the face dazed one head scissors uh no but funk has the agility able to wriggle out body slam garvin reverses it with an arm twister hurts two some brutal chops down three funk on the defensive now there's the hands of stone target three roll is a three that is the end of the match with the hands of stone, Garvin able to defend the title. Holy cow, ladies and gentlemen. What a match. All right, so that's going to get two automatically because it was a title match and a grudge match. And so that will be a three and a half. That was a fun match. That was a fun, fun match. With a great ending. Uh, and there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for our main event. Uh, before we get to the main event, once again, we just want to thank all the Golden Circle channel members who helped make the videos on this channel possible. If you would like to join the Golden Circle, uh, click that join button uh, underneath the window. All right, here we go. It is time for the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. Uh, one Funk uh, has already lost here tonight. Will another one lose? We are about to see. Let's roll the dice. Let's ring the bell. Dory Funk with a waist lock takedown, dazing him. Uh, arm bar to power move, but Schultz has the power. Hits a low blow on the champ. A knee lift hurts two. Another knee lift hurts two. Uh, big elbows, choice A. Let's see, his ropes are an A. His power is a zero. Going to go for the power. Needs an eight or less. Seven. It does work. The champ is dazed. There's a forearm. He's still dazed. Chokehold. That will work. Dazed one again. Forearm. Dory Funk Jr. ducks out of the way. Uh, hits a back suplex. Let's see if it works. Uh, needs an eight or less. No. David Schultz with a fist drop to the face. Hurt two. Low blow two. Hurts two. Another low blow. Uh, where's the ref on this? Uh, dazed one. Uh, there's a takedown. Dory Funk Jr. Uh, reverses it. Gets him in an arm bar. But Dor uh, David Schultz able to uh, get out of there and hit another low blow. Hurts two. Oops, oops. Uh, fist drop to face three. Hurts two. Knee lift two. Dazed one. Uh, backbreaker, that will work. The champ in trouble, hurt too. Another knee lift, hurt too. Another low blow, Dory Funk Jr. Uh, able to get out of the way. Into the ropes, whips him into the ropes. The wrestler with the better ropes rating. That's Dory Funk Jr. He gonna roll on level three offense. Uh, locks in an Indian death lock. 
and uh, we'll go for the agility. Nine or less. Eight. It does work. That is a hurt two. The champ in control now. Drop kick two. Hurt two. Abdominal stretch two. Hurt two. Drop kick two. David Schultz reverses it. Tries a head scissors, but Dory Funk Jr. Uh, hits a drop kick. Hurt two. Abdominal stretch locks it in. Is Schultz gonna tap out? Uh, target is three. Roll is a ten. There's one fatigue there. Indian Deathlock, choice H. Uh, gonna go for the death jump. Dory Funk going up. Blast him with a flying clothesline. There is the spinning toe hold. Uh, roll one die. It is a six. He uses the Texas Cloverleaf. The target here is gonna be six. The roll is a six. And David Schultz tags out, taps out. Dory Funk Jr. retains with the Texas Cloverleaf. Ladies and gentlemen, what an event. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just just a fantastic time here tonight. Let's see, that will get one star because it's a title match. And so that'll be a two-star title match. Dory Funk Jr. retains the title. And uh, what an event we've had here today. Uh, we will check the rankings in one second. I just realized I made a, a tiny little... I forgot to delete something, so I want to go back and uh, delete that once this updates here. Let me go into event history. And uh, let's uh, go down to here. I'm going to edit the match details, and I'm going to get rid of that. There we go. All right. Now we can head over to the main menu. And we can check out our rankings here. Uh, I want to thank everybody for tuning in to Outlaw Championship Wrestling. It is always a pleasure uh, having you along for the ride. This is such a fun fed to play. Uh, the bootleg. Uh, so Dory Funk Jr., he is still 10-1. and 1. If he ever loses the title and comes back, it's, it's going to be, he's going to be right up at the top of the rankings. Uh, look at that. Ronnie Garvin, um, uh, eight and three is his, uh, is his title. Uh, Blackjack Lonza, Kamala, uh, Jerry Lawler just having a hard time, uh, getting up here. David Schultz, uh, now at an eight and eight, I would say, uh, Ernie Ladd in title in, in line for a title shot, but the great Kabuki, that the great, but the great Kabuki did just lose. So, um, also, I have a feeling that somebody that the great Kabuki has injured twice is coming back on the next card. So, uh, I'm sure he's going to want to uh, have a word or two with the great Kabuki. Um, most wins, Terry Funk. Most losses, Ty, Coco Samoa, and David Schultz. Most title wins, uh, Dory Funk Jr. and the Minnesota Wrecking Crew. Best card, Outlaw Championship Wrestling number 10. I would have thought tonight's card would have been close, but worst card uh, is card number 15. Best match, Falls Count Anywhere versus Jerry Lawler and David Schultz versus Iron Mike Sharp from card number 25. Worst match, uh, ooh, the Golden Grams versus the Fabulous Freebirds, the Fabulous Freebirds versus Kamala and Killer Khan. Coco Samoa versus a great Kabuki and Wild Simones versus Junkyard Dog. Uh, there's a reason the fabulous Freebirds aren't here anymore. Most five star matches: Terry Funk, Jerry Lawler, David Schultz, and Iron Mike Sharp. Uh, so it's a four way tie there. Uh, most duds: the fabulous Freebirds. Yeah, most squashes: Arn Anderson and Only Anderson. Okay, yeah, so the tag team. Most time squash: Mr. Olympia. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Uh, longest card, uh, card number 17. Shortest card. Uh, oh, well, yeah, because we only played one match off of that card. So technically, yes, that was the shortest card. Longest match, Jay Youngblood and Mr. Wrestling 2 versus the Great Kabuki and Killer Khan. Uh, shortest match, Coco Samoa versus the Great Kabuki from card number 21. Best winning percentage, Dory Funk Jr., Okay, makes sense. Worst winning percentage, Dick Murdoch. Uh, yeah, Dick Murdoch's not here anymore either. Most accumulated fatigue, junk. I was gonna say Junkyard Dog and Kamala. Uh, least fatigue, Blackjack Lonza. Longest combined reigns, 
Bruno San Martino. I think because I just added in. Yeah, I wouldn't count that one. Uh, North American Championship, Dory Funk Jr., Outlaw Tag Team Champion, 63 days over two reigns. Shortest combined reigns, Dory Funk Jr., uh, when the title was vacant, and Outlaw Tag Team Championship, uh, Junkyard Dog and Mr. Olympia. Most combined defenses, Dory Funk Jr., uh, Dory Funk Jr., winning that twice. Uh, oh, for the North American, so these are tied. And uh, Ernie Ladd and the Assassin. All right. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There's just a little stroll down rankings lane. Uh, thank you for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Again, if you want more information about FG Assistant, head on over to patreon.com forward slash FG Assistant. Thank you so much for being here, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you have an amazing day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. Mm-hmm.